Hi, my name is Alex, and I'm a co-founder of VidSwap.com. I'd like to take you through a quick run-through of everything VidSwap.com has to offer for hockey. To put it simply, you upload your game video to us, and we break it down with all hockey situations within 12 to 24 hours, but usually by the morning. Think of us as your video assistant. We literally save you hundreds of hours across the entire season so you can get back to coaching. VidSwap allows you to easily collaborate and share your breakdowns with your entire team in any browser or iOS device. And this is one of my favorite parts. It's the mobile access. So every time you go on the road, our iOS app has great offline support. So your analysis can be in the palm of your hand when you're on a bus, on a plane, in a hotel meeting room, or in a locker room. So let's just do a quick rundown again. So we do all of the analysis for you within 12 to 24 hours, but usually by the time you wake up the next day. And out of the box, without any extra work, your breakdowns are all online, allowing you to collaborate with your coaches and your team. And lastly, the iOS app, and it's really amazing. Uh, the offline features will really leave you wondering how you ever did this before without VidSwap. So let's take a quick look inside VidSwap.com and how it works. Your videos area here is where you'll upload and manage all of your games, scout games, practices, training videos, all those kind of things that you want to be able to upload and share and edit with your team and all of the game analysis is located right in here. Your documents area is where you can upload playbooks, scattering reports, practice plans, stat sheets, all those kind of things that you, again, you wanna be able to share with your team. Your highlights is where you can manage video presentations that you wanna use for film sessions or create team and player highlights. Your roster area is where you can give login access to your entire team so they can analyze video from any PC or iOS device. The help section is where you can learn how to use many of our great features or just ask for help. The top right corner and the right side is where your account information can be managed. So for your login, your subscription info, account settings, and buying more game credits. Now let's cover your video area and the main features of the analysis. So on the right, this is your playlist window where all of your games, scout games, practices, training videos are all managed and organized. You'll notice that there's checkboxes next to each game so you can do multi-game analysis. You can also resize these windows depending upon who you're in front of or how big a monitor you have. You can also minimize these as well. The video player has all the playback controls you'd want to have, play, pause, slow motion, fast forward, skipping forward and backwards. And then the bottom row of keys on your keyboard are your keyboard shortcuts. When you come to a coaching moment, whenever the video is paused, you can draw and telestrate on screen. And then pressing play removes any drawings. Now the bottom is your timeline editor. And this is where all of the situations and plays are being edited out of the game to be able to use. Now, normally you're going to bypass this and you're going to click right into your filter here because that's where you can actually drill down into pulling up those plays and situations. But let's actually quickly cover the timeline uh, and why it's important. So again, when we break down your game, all of that is being done right here in the timeline. And this timeline gives you more granularity to be able to pull up not just larger events but also individual events okay so all of the all of these rows here represent events that we're tagging throughout the game so we're tagging all the periods all the face-offs who won and lost the face-offs the every time the puck is in an offensive zone for each team all of the breakouts all the shots results of those shots whether they were um, goal saves wide or blocked and then all of your special teams, all of your power plays and your kills, and the results of those, whether they were converted or killed. 
Uh, so what this timeline then really allows you to do now is you see these blue instances here across um, the uh, timeline and this is when all of those different things are happening throughout the game. So now this timeline allows you to pull up just face-offs or just goals or just power plays or maybe just shots that you took within a power play or maybe you want to pull up all your face-offs in an offensive or defensive zone. Uh, so it allows you to pull up just those smaller events, just those specific plays that you want to be able to use. And that's really why the timeline is important. It allows you to pull up exactly what you guys want to be able to do across any part of any game or number of games. The timeline is interactive, so you can actually click on any instance. It takes you right to it. You can also right-click any of these instances to also edit and change any of that data as well. Now let's move on to the filter and this is where you're going to spend most of your time pulling up plays and drilling down into situations. So in the filter on the left hand side you have your options. So you can start to select what events and situations you want to start to look at. So for example I've got all face-offs selected. So when I choose all face-offs apply that. It now pulls up just the face-offs across this entire game and then you can also filter based on who won or lost those face-offs as well okay you can go back and change that maybe you want to look at all of the goals throughout the game so I can go to shots choose goals apply that and now it pulls up all of the goals throughout this entire game and again it's going to show just the goals a little bit before that goal the actual goal and then a little bit after the goal we can go back and pull up a whole multitude of other things like when the puck was in an offensive or defensive zone, we can look at breakouts. We, look, we can look at power plays or kills, whether they were converted or not. And again, we can also look at cross sections. Maybe we want to look at all of the shots that we took within a power play. Or again, maybe all of the face-offs within a particular zone that you want to see as well. When the roster is filled in, you can actually click in these columns here and tag players. So if you want to tag players on individual events, shots, goals, assists, face-offs, those kinds of things, you can do that. And then those players then get added to your filter here. So you can pull up every time a certain player had a shot or a goal across a whole number of games. Tagging players also adds to the statistics. So in every game, when you click on your stats button here, it pops up a box score. And so you get a really nice simple box score of all of the, the different stats here. And then as you tag players, those players then will start to populate below here as well. Now when you want to create a highlight for a film session, you can go ahead and when you've got a filter up and you're looking at different situations, you can start to select those plays that you want to add to that highlight. And then when you've selected the ones you want to add, just click create highlight. And now add those to a highlight you've already created or create a brand new one. I'm going to add these to that week one highlight. And then you'll simply repeat that process across all of the different plays and situations that you're looking at. You can also easily adjust clip durations at the bottom here by simply adjusting that lead and lag time. So if you want to see more leading up to a goal or maybe a little bit after uh, a particular face-off or group of face-offs, you can adjust that really easily as well. Now let's talk about your highlights area. So highlights can be used to pull out what you want your team to focus on and learn from. And they can make your film sessions faster and more effective. So once you've added plays to your highlights from your filter, they can now be managed and edited from your highlights area here. So I've got the week one selected, and down below I've got all the plays that I've added to this highlight. Now the description column, it copies over any data that was tagged onto those events, and so you can actually click in there and you can edit, change that, update it. You can add additional information there if you want to type in play comments, coach comments, whatever it might be to make those more relevant. The edit menu allows you to change the order of the clips. The download menu allows you to download individual clips to your desktop if you want to drop those into PowerPoint presentations or using some other type of editor. And then lastly, you have the ability to now draw on top of these uh, clips and then save those telestrations and annotations for later. So whenever you get to a spot, you can pause the video, click on your pen here, and on the left, you've got some options. So you can do things like free and draw. You can add circles and squares. 
that you can then resize and also adjust to fit the orientation of maybe the ice here. You can also add circles. You can add arrows to show maybe path of a player or the puck. And then you can also add text. And then you can move that around as well. And then by clicking this check mark here, that now would save that. So whenever you come back to that, you'll be able to see that uh, and it will pop up. So I've got a telestration that I've already added here. So when I watch this play, it's going to get to a certain spot, pop up that, that telestration and annotation that I want my players to possibly see. Okay. And then when I press play, it'll continue on. So you've got the ability to add those across uh, any uh, particular part of the clip here, as many as you want on all of your highlights. Your team does have access to all the highlights you create, and you can also email highlights to anybody outside your team. Our mobile app is free in the iOS App Store. Just search for VidSwap. And really the best thing about our app is the fact that you can download video and edits into the app for offline use. So you can really do film sessions anywhere. You can plug your device into a projector, a TV, or do AirPlay on an Apple TV, and then do your film sessions in front of your team. So once you're logged into the app, we can tap into the videos here and go to a particular game that we want to take a look at. And you'll see next to each playlist is an icon that indicates if the game is downloaded or available to stream. So that cloud icon means that the video is available to stream via Wi-Fi. So if I click on that cloud, it now actually downloads that video right into the apps. Now again, I've got that video offline that I can use and I don't have to worry about whether I've got Wi-Fi or I've got 4G. Your player controls are located on the sides for easy access with your thumbs. And it can also be moved to the bottom if you want to control it just with one hand. When the video is paused, you can use your finger to telestrate on screen. The top right corner now is your filter. And you can click on that and pop up all of those different situations just like we did online that we can now start to look at. So if I wanted to look at all of the goals, I can go back now and watch all of the goals in this filter. And at the top, you'll see it's got that scrolling play data of information about that play. So this is clip one of seven, who has the puck, and then what's the result of the shot. You've also got access to your team highlights here. So all of those highlights that you've made for your presentations, you can click into those, download and stream those the exact same way as your games. So all in all, that's a really quick look at vidswap.com for hockey, where we break down your games for you. If you'd like a more in-depth demonstration, please contact us at sales at vidswap.com or please go to vidswap and sign up for a 14-day trial, upload a game, and we'll break that down for you.